Welcome back. In the last video, I put on some new racing tires and they performed amazingly. They helped me move up about 20 places in my autocross overall, but I did see one issue with them. My rear tires were wearing too far down the sidewall, as you can see here at the indicator, and it took 43 PSI for me to stiffen the tire up enough to stop this. This made me wonder if I had the same problem on the inside shoulder of my tire. So I looked at the inside shoulder and there was zero wear. I was clearly not using any of the inside part of my tire. I've been running a half degree of negative camber, thinking that would keep the rear tires flat for straight line acceleration, but that's not working out the way I wanted it to. Let's add another degree of negative camber and see if that gets the inside of the tire to work a little more. After a quick change to my rear suspension, I'm up to about one and a half degrees of negative camber. Let's see if it makes any change on the track. So good news first, I did use more of the inside shoulder of my tire, but I still had to run 43 PSI to keep the outer sidewall in check. As for the race results, let's take a look and see if I gained on anybody. I'm still 3% faster than the 2020 Corvette, so I didn't gain or lose anything on them this race. However, I did gain 2% on this very quick Nissan 200SX. This MR2 runs in the same class as me, and I did gain 3% on him, but he was having trouble with his turbo and was running low boost. This Tesla finished 3rd overall and I gained 2% on him which is nice. Likewise this Miata finished 6th overall and I still gained a percent on him. And finally this BRZ, another top 10 finisher, I gained 1% on him, so I'm still gaining on the top people. Overall I finished 34 out of 85 and I moved up to the 60th percentile, so a nice improvement for a small change. I still have a little bit on the inside of the tire that's not being used and the outside is still rolling over a little bit without high pressure. So I think the car can actually use a little more negative camber in the back. On top of that, the car is still oversteering a little bit, so a little added grip in the back will probably go a long way. All these small changes are definitely adding up though. I'm cutting my way through the crowd, and hopefully I'll keep moving up with more improvements. Be sure to check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.